here have a bypass. So, the are directional sensitive, so always look for the arrow. And on the top, you have the bar setting. And usually you turn the, the top to adjust the pressure sensor opening. Not many installers know how to set these, but these are vital because you only want these opening up when the motorised valves close. That way it makes them more efficient. So let's take for example here we have a heating system you've got motorised valves two two ports that's for say the heating that's for domestic hot water the pumps on distributing the heat the motorised valves switch off you still want the pump to run for several moments afterwards to disperse the heat so here you've got the return coming back to the boiler the bypass valve goes here and it's an automatic bypass. So, these switch off, the pump can still circulate and remove any residual heat. This, in some instances, can stop a boiler from scaling up. So here, mate, here we have a different example. So this is why you have a bypass valve, but here they fit a gate valve. So if these motorised valves shut off and the water needs to circulate to remove any excess heat, the water's got nowhere to go. So here they fit a gate valve. But the problem with that is, it's always open. It is always open. So theoretically speaking, if these are all open, water's still circulating back and it's losing flow weight and it's losing pressure. So if you were to fit an automatic bypass, it would only open up when the motorised valves are closed. So for this exercise, I'm going to calculate what to set the bypass to. So you're going to need the kilowatt of the boiler, which is the heat loss of the house. You're going to divide it by delta T, the temperature difference. For this, we're going to say 12 degrees. And you're going to times it by the Pacific heat capacity of water, which is 4.2. If you want to be Pacific, it's 4.18. Temperature difference between the flow and return. We're going to say 12, a little low. So this is going to be... 50.4 by by 12 equals 0 to 4. So now let's adjust this valve. So it's 0 to four. Zero to four. There you go. So that's perfect now. That is at the perfect setting. So really, this system has increased its flow rate. So when both motorised valves or all motorised valves are open, this will be closed. It will send all the pressure, all the flow rate to the appliances, the coil, the radiators, the underfloor. And then when they're closed, this will open up.